Welcome to Camp Dolphins 2010, Barry Butel, alongside YB, Jeremiah Bell. You know, I was just talking to uh, Chris Clemens. He's a man of few words, but uh, he's impressing people, isn't he? Oh, yeah. You know, that's what Chris does. He doesn't talk much, but when you see him out there on the field, he does his thing. So, uh, you know, he's going to be a great player, and he's always asking questions. So uh, that's what you want out of a young player. He talks on the field, and that's where it's important. Oh, yeah. He's got to talk on the field. You know, he doesn't really have a choice in the defense we have now. You know, you got to communicate all the way around. And, you know, that's one thing. That's one place he is going to talk is on that field, and he knows that he has to. So uh, he's doing a great job. When you look at this defense, uh, what do you see? It's, uh, we he keep hearing about it being an a offensive defense Mike Nolan brings in. Uh, it's going to be an attacking defense. You know, I think all the guys like it. You know, we get to move around a little bit, guys in different spots, uh, you know, giving offense a different look. So, uh, you know, I think guys are excited. We're going to have some fun with it. Coach talked a little bit about the inside with, with Crowder and, and Dansby together, what a force they could be. Do you see that early on? Oh, yeah. You know, I've seen that from the first day. You know, as soon as Carlos came in and, you know, uh, you know, teaming up with Channing, I knew those guys would be a force inside. So, uh, you know, that's just another area where we got better. You've been here. You were here for that, that one year where it didn't go so well. When you look <laughs> at <one> in, <laughs> wait, did, you yeah. didn't need to say that. <laughs> hey, well, you know, let it be known. It's in the past, so yeah. it's okay. People yeah. remember it, I yeah. think. Yeah, they don't really want to. But when you look at this roster, I mean, is this the, on paper the best? Um, since I've been here, probably so. I mean, we got a great chance to do some good things this year. And, uh, you know, I think if the guys stay on the same page and we all believe in, you know, coaches, you know, what coaches trying to get across and, you know, we come together as a team, I think we'll be fine. They call him a beast. How, how nasty is he to defend Brandon Marshall? Um, he, he's a beast. You know, he's a pro bowl receiver, one of the best in this league. And, you know, I think with each day that our corners get to look at this guy and go up against him, it's going to make them better. Let's talk about you. We were talking uh, throughout the pro bowl with you. <laughs> We had a great year last year. Yeah. How, do, how do you feel about how you've developed as a pro? Uh, I feel great. You know, uh, I've, I've had a lot of great coaches, and I've got a lot of uh, a great coaching staff now who, you know, helps me out and, uh, you know, puts me in the right situations and, you know, just helps me to, you know, see what I need to see on the field and help the young guys. So, uh, you know, I'm feeling good and I'm ready to go. Thanks so much. All right.